way a gene signature development is the process by which you take a discovery experiment on thousands of genes and you reduce that gene expression measurement down to dozens of genes where the pattern of gene expression in those dozens of genes is reflective of a biological phenotype in the experiment. It's important because cancer is complex, and we need to distill all of that biology down into a much simpler measurement. Now, RNA expression signatures are easier to measure than proteins. Proteins are just too loud to measure. Uh, on the other hand, you can measure all the genotypes in a, in a tumor, but that information is really not deterministic. The biggest problem in developing an RNA expression signature is running lots of samples. And not just any samples, you need to be able in mycology, you need to be able to run FFP samples. Not just any FFP samples, old age FFP samples that have mature clinical data associated with them that's essential to develop a good expression signature. So now when you're when you're running those samples, you're actually making a transition from fresh frozen tissue where all these discoveries were made to FFP tissue, we're going to develop the signature and then validate that signature. So it's the proverbial building the ship while you're sailing it. You're actually trying to reduce this gene set at the same time you're transitioning from one platform to another, transitioning from one tissue type to another tissue type. And that's very scary as an assay developer because you may actually throw out genes that contain valuable information. Scientists traditionally deal with these problems using quantitative PCR. So what you do with quantitative PCR is you have to optimize each and every one of your primers for old age FFP samples. And that can be very difficult to do. That can take, in some cases, years to optimize those primers. And once you've actually got optimized primers, then you need to optimize your process across all the different genes. And you need to maintain that optimization, maintain that quality over long periods of time during which you're running your validation studies and even into the clinic where you're going to be testing patients. So as an assay developer, my biggest fear is when I'm developing an RNA expression signature that I actually throw out genes that are of high value. So the Encounter system solves this problem by allowing you to put in hundreds of genes into that experiment and actually reduce to the optimal set of genes starting with a wide net. Uh, so that solves the problem of, of, of the optimizing the signature itself. That's all done in a single tube without any enzymology. And so that means you don't actually have to go through and optimize every single one of your primers for old age FFPE samples. This can all be done in a single tube in a very short period of time. A good example of this is a group of lymphoma researchers who discovered an RNA expression signature about a decade ago and been researching that signature for this entire time. It was only when the Encounter system came along that they could do the experiment that they needed to do. They built a code set of 800 genes. It's a large code set. They ran that on a bunch of FFP samples to reduce that down to only 20 genes and validate that signature uh, for use in the clinic. And only in about a year.